Hello world from the Times on your catching me from my name is MD90 and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well today we're looking at the process of registering a company in Zambia and I'm talking to Mr. Wilson Banda. Welcome to my channel sir. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing fine. My pleasure. Uh, so uh, one question that I've been getting on my channel is what is the process of registering a business name or a company in Zambia? Is it different for a foreigner or for a Zambian citizen? Okay. So you've asked two questions. Um, so there's the process of uh, registering a company or business name, and then there's also the issue of whether it's any different for a foreigner or a Zambian. Um, so the, the, the answer to the second question is no. With respect to the fact that you're a foreigner or a Zambian, the procedure is most likely the same. Okay, um, so the only difference, of course, would be the fact that um, you have to state your nationality that you're not a Zambian or from this particular country. But in terms of the processes and procedures, the fees, everything yes. remains the same. Yeah. So to register a business name, it's very much easy. Um, all you need to do is you fill in a form, uh, business uh, name form three, and then there's a fee of. Um, 166 quarter, mm -hmm. but prior to that, you need to have a name cleared. Okay. So remember that it's a business name. Yeah. You need to call your enterprise a particular name. Yes. So when you come up with a name, it has to be scrutinized. Yes. We need to check whether that name is available or someone else is using such a name. Uh, once that process has been um, done, then you can go ahead and fill in the forms for registration of business name. For companies, it's the same procedure. You start off with a name clearance. Yes. So you propose the name. Now, to make it easier for our customers, we allow a maximum of three names so that you have a greater chance of having one of the names yes. picked. Yes. So uh, the fee for a name clearance for a company is 90 quarter. Once that part or stage has been done, then you go ahead with the incorporation of a company, yes. which uh, is currently sitting at um, 1,000 quarter. Or fifty dollars, um, depending on the type of company that you are incorporating. Yes. Now, um, the easiest way of getting this information is to go on our website. Okay. So our website is www.papa.org.z. Yes. Our website has a lot of information on um, different types of companies, um, um, types of business names, because there's a sole proprietor, there's a partnership. It's a registration by a company. So when you go to our website, you'll be able to read up on a lot of literature. And once you are ready to do that, yes, you can download the form, fill in the forms. Um, this is one of our offices. Uh, um, submit the documents, make the relevant payments. Um, then you're good to go. Yes. And it takes um, at most a day to register a business name on a company. For as long as all the documentation is properly filled in. It shouldn't take you more than a day. Is there a way of submitting the documents online or you need yes. to? Yes, so I was going to get to that. Yes. So the alternative is um, once you do that, you can um, go to um, the online platform where you can register the business name as well as company. Um, now to do that, you need to create an account. You need to be a registered user. But that is also very easy and uh, the information on how that can be done is available on our website. Uh, once that's done, you upload the documents, the documents are um, checked here, everything is fine, then you pay using Visa or um, what we want to now come up with, which is um, other payment platforms using mobile, yes. uh, like Airtel Money, MTN and Zampay. Once that's done, then you're good to go. Okay. So for people who are not in Zambia, are Zambians, yes. who want to do it, they can still use Visa. Okay. Yeah, we have Visa platform on um, our website. Yeah. Um, over and above that, uh, the question is how do you get a certificate, yes. you might ask. So the, we have an electronic uh, certificate, it's um, a soft copy. Uh, so what happens is you actually get um, an email notification uh, with the certificate attached. Yes. Yeah. So a uh, certificate of course will, will confirm that your business is registered. And other people that wish to check whether your company is duly registered can still go back on our website, key in the company name or number, and then be able to verify from our website whether indeed that company is registered. So we've uh, put in place some mechanisms to make sure that um, people do not uh, generate their own certificate yes. bogusly yes. and uh, cheat people. So you yes. can verify that. Yeah. 
And apart from that, you have a call center. You can call um, a call center lines. The numbers are also on our website where you can um, have a chat with um, our call center officers. They'll be able to guide and provide um, uh, guidance on how you can go about uh, registering a business if you, have, you still have questions um, after visiting our website. So uh, the question that would come up is um, if you're just a business then in Zambia, uh, is it connected to any global platforms where you trademark that no one else really uses it, let's say in Nigeria or in any other country, except some like to the Zambia context? All right, so when it comes to business registration, um, company incorporation, and trademark, they're, they're, bit, they're different. Okay? Um, so when you register a business name, uh, the jurisdiction is restricted to Zambia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, same thing with a company. When you register a company, uh, the company is deemed or is supposed to operate in that particular jurisdiction. So in our case, a company should operate in Zambia. Yes, from time to time, it will deal with um, outside um, parties, say suppliers, say from yeah. China, the yeah. UK, but it has a registered um, business premises in Zambia. Yes. And that is where it operates from. If you choose to set up and trade in another country, uh, there's another procedure where the, that company can um, register another company in that particular jurisdiction, or the shareholders of that company in Zambia can go ahead and open another company in the in, in another jurisdiction. Yes. Um, so that is something else that possibly we can talk about uh, later on if you yes. choose to. Yes. Uh, but that is very possible. But for a company that is registered in Zambia, it is um, primarily supposed to deal in Zambia or at least operate from Zambia. Okay. Yes. Notwithstanding the fact that. It will have maybe suppliers from South Africa, from Zimbabwe, but it, its presence is here. If it sets up office in another jurisdiction, it will need to acquire some registration in that yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the way it operates. Okay. I understood. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else that you feel that the public needs to know about PACRA okay. as we wind up? Yeah. So PACRA offers a number of services. So yeah. we have business registration, um, but apart from that, we also uh, register trademarks, um, the granting of patents, industrial designs, um, these are intellectual property rights. So over and above registering your business, yes, you have a thriving business, you're dealing in um, clothing, you're dealing in um, maybe stationery, but you want to go a step further, you want to brand your products or yes. your service. Yes. That is where trademarks come in. Okay. So over and above having a, a, a business, you can possibly consider um, registering for a trademark. That information is also available on our website. No. Yeah, and um, so the thing is, registration is not just restricted to people living in Zambia. Okay. Even um, outsiders, those who wish to invest in Zambia yes. can can come through. The only thing is they will need to set up presence here in Zambia. Yeah. So even uh, Zambians in the diaspora, they can uh, they can register their businesses online. But the only thing is they need to provide a registered place Famous. of business in Zambia. They cannot do it. Uh, in the country where they're coming from, that would not work because at the end of the day, relevant authorities, even just the state parties, we don't visit their offices. Yes. So if their office, for example, is in South Africa, it becomes a bit difficult to to to, 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 to yes, yeah, exactly to check on them. Yes. Yeah. So that is where the the, the catch is. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, it's um it's 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 easy for people in the diaspora to register whether you're Zambia or foreign. Yeah. Right. That's why the bone of contention was uh, yeah. thought maybe there's a difference. You needed the certain uh, green national registration card. No, 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 not at all, not at all. But of course, uh, um, in terms of um, foreigners um, coming to work in Zambia, there's the issue of immigration, immigration getting yes. permits, and yes. all that. But of course, that is something that um, our colleagues can find out from the Department of Immigration. Yes. They also have a website and. Um, um, they should be able to provide um, the machine needs information for people who wish to invest in Zambia to um, what needs to be done for them to get the necessary permits. Over and above, of course, the ZDA, ZDA provides um, um, guidance on investment uh, incentives. So that's another um, place to visit. They yes. also have a website. So those who are willing to uh, consider investing and in what it takes to invest in Zambia can also visit. All right. uh, the website, yeah. No, thank you for your time. And, uh, no problem. Glad to be of service, and um, 
we look forward to a lot of interactions with yourselves as well as uh, the many customers out there, both in Zambia as well as abroad, who wish to access our services. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Oh, no, no, no. I just said the invoice.